My name is uh, Kevin Applegate. I've been with the company 10 years, tooling engineer now. I've been in that position for eight years. My name is Robert Gilliam. I'm a tooling engineer with Wapaka Foundry. I've been working here for uh, about five years. The process starts with us. When a customer has a part that they want produced, we're the first ones who look at the part. When we get the prints in, we have to figure out what we have to do in order to make the part, whether it's putting the core inside of it or changing angles. It's got to be producible in our plant. This feature is on that side, so it gets red, and it would have to be blue in order for us to produce that. We have to make sure all of our parts are dimensionally correct so that there's no safety issues with them whenever they're going on your car or on your truck. Once it's determined that we're going to produce the part, we'll take the prints and build our tooling off that so that we can run it in production. We work directly with what's called a pattern shop. We break it down and we determine how many pieces we can put on a plate. We could possibly get two more cores of this part in here, but as far as them running... That whole process starts in the tooling department. Everything we do is backwards. Like you've got a part, and what he's saying by backwards, we got to reverse engineer that. If you wanted a uh, cast iron pot, the inside of the pot and then the, the bottom side of the pot, it would be two halves in the mold. In our process, they make one half first, and then the other half is made in the other side, and then it's pushed in to create the pocket in which the iron is poured down to create the pot. Stuff wears out extremely fast, so we've always got something to do, and a lot of it to do. Right in here, well, that's, that should be round. Definitely have to manage your time, because you're, you're not gonna be working on just one thing. You're gonna have 20 things on your to-do list, and then, once you get three of them knocked off, there's going to be five more come in the door. There's a, a machine uh, damaged a tool on the floor that you have to go look at now. That item has to be fixed immediately. You can't push that off until tomorrow because there's a customer that's going to be needing that part tomorrow. You definitely have to be a big team member because there, there's several of us in our office and if, and if you're backlogged, you're going to have to make sure somebody else will do it for you. The things I like best about my job is working directly with the end customer and you've been able to communicate back and forth with them to be able to produce the part that works for both of you. It's definitely the people that, that get me back here every day. That and seeing what you've, what you've actually accomplished and built and you know you got a good product. Yeah, it's kind of cool to see the parts that you designed up front in next year's product launch. Oh, there's that part that we produced. It's interesting when you're crawling around on a vehicle and you see a big old WF logo on there, knowing that it come out of the foundry somewhere. If you like understanding what makes something work, the mechanical design, mechanical engineering field is, is definitely something for you. A two-year degree would be a good place to start your education for sure. You, there's plenty of advancement and opportunities there. There's uh, internships that are readily available multiple, multiple places. Um, you get your foot in the door that way, and you can continue moving forward with an associate's degree. Went to ITT Tech. My brother went to uh, ITT too, and got a job here, and I liked what he was doing, so I just kind of followed him along. Shop really helped me out a lot. They had a good AutoCAD program out there for drafting. That gets you moving in the right direction. Definitely get into your 3D studio, 3D solid modeling. Uh, Pro E, you know, graphics and ideas. Any any one of those solid modeling programs will be very beneficial for you to have. I really like having a local job. Uh, it keeps you close to your family and uh, the place where you grew up. Whenever I went to school, I didn't know I was going to be working here. I thought I was going to have to move, and I tried that, and I was glad to get hired on here. You can go anywhere and get a job, but to stay local and get a good job is is even better. There's some opportunities for advancement and there's several employers within the area that, that have these types of positions readily available. One of the interesting aspects of mine is the fact that I can work with some of the biggest names in the industry like Caterpillar and John Deere and I can do it from right here at home in Perry County.